The revelation from Philip Schofield and his admission of an affair has left many stunned and questioning whether there is a way back for the star. Philip presented this morning for over 20 years and his departure first came after rumors of a rift between himself and co-star Holly Willoughby. Showbiz reporter Ellie Phillips joined GB News presenters Stephen Dixon and Deli Costello to discuss the recent revelation, where she claimed it was an abuse of power. Stephen asked, Ellie look, these statements that people make they are meant to be mitigation aren't they, trying to sort of sound a bit better. He said this relationship was unwise but not illegal, now the not illegal part seems very odd that he has had to put that in. Ellie explained, it does but to those in the industry and to people who know about the rumors circulating, he said he had to address it. I think it is worrying because he has had to address the fact that when he did meet this young man for the first time he was a teenager. The exact date hasn't been confirmed but there has been speculation over what age this young young man was. I also think he is saying it's not illegal but it is an abuse of power. Philip Schofield was the face of this morning someone in massive power. Don't miss. Escape to the Shadows Angel Adori launches into foul-mouthed rant, latest, Midsummer Murders John Barnaby star pays tribute to on-screen wife, watch, GB News host admits it's satisfying watching Schofield's career tumble, insight, it is about that power imbalance I think and when companies have their policies in to avoid any HR problems, there are no relationships and when there are both parties have to go to HR and sign statements. That obviously hasn't happened because he did admit that it was an affair, then there is the fact that there is huge age difference. As Ellie concluded, Stephen added, I'm not convinced that Holly is going to walk away from this unscathed, and I'm not saying that's fair. I don't know but does it damage the whole brand because they have been linked together? This is getting toxic, properly toxic now. Ellie also joined Mark Donlan last night on his late-night GB News show where she admitted there was no way back from his recent admissions. She expressed, 100% it's done, there is no way that he can come back from this. For the agents to have dropped him with immediate effect, him resigned from ITV, stepped down from hosting the British Soap Awards, he is no longer doing dancing on ice and there is just no coming back. In his statement, Philip expressed, I am deeply sorry for having lied to them and to many others about a relationship that I had with someone working on this morning. I did have a consensual on-off relationship with a younger male colleague at this morning. That relationship was unwise, but not illegal. It is now over. I am painfully conscious that I have lied to my employers at ITV, to my colleagues and friends, to my agents, to the media and therefore the public and most importantly of all to my family. I am so very, very sorry, as I am for having been unfaithful to my wife. Speaking out on his admission, ITV said, we are deeply disappointed by the admissions of deceit made tonight by Philip Schofield. The relationships we have with those we work with are based on trust. Philip made assurances to us which he now acknowledges were untrue and we feel badly let down. We accept his resignation from ITV and therefore can confirm that he will not be appearing on ITV as had previously been stated. Breakfast with Stephen and Dan airs Friday to Sunday from 6 a.m. on GB News.